everybody, DTX720 here. We are doing a reaction to the Pokemon Direct 1-9-2020. It's interesting that we're getting a Pokemon Direct this early in the year. And it's weird because there's we don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on here. I wasn't expecting a Pokemon Direct. I was not ex I was more expecting a Nintendo Direct. Um, just straight up to know what we're doing for the rest of 2020. But that's besides the point. What am I expecting to see here? I don't know. Um, the Pokemon Twitter, one of the Pokemon Twitters slipped up uh, last night or the night before and did kind of uh, show off a Gastrodon, which, you know, shouldn't, like, isn't in the game, the pink Gastrodon. I think, I believe it's Gastrodon. If I'm wrong, I apologize. But the the pink slug thingy isn't in the game and then they showed it in a screenshot so i'm guessing we're gonna get some kind of sword and shield like they're gonna add some pokemon because of the whole dex situation anyways yeah we're gonna make sure that's going on let me make sure i'm recording real quick okay sorry about that you got to see a little bit behind the scenes of the obs anyways let's get right into it let's watch this reaction time welcome to the pokemon direct I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon. Hello, Ishihara. In today's broadcast, Ishihara. I'd like to touch on two topics. How are you? Let's get started with the first topic. Turn this down a little bit. Have a look at the following footage. Have a look at the following footage. Okay, what are you throwing at us? 2006. Oh, what is this? Excuse me. Please wake up. Come on, wake up. Oh! Is this Mystery Dungeon? Yes, it is. Oh. Are we getting a new Mystery Dungeon game on the Switch? No. <gasps> Look how cute it is. Oh my god, this art style. It's like Winnie the Pooh. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Rescue Team DX. Oh. Wow. Rescue Team DX. Oh my gosh, it looks like, like Winnie the Pooh or something. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, and they have Megas in there. So Megas aren't dead, people. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. That is amazing. Well, we're definitely going to play that when it happens. Years since Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Red Rescue Team, and Blue Rescue Team were released for the Nintendo DS and Game Boy Advance so, systems. So these are like re remakes of them, right? Life as a Nintendo Switch title. Yeah. They're like reimaginings. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX will be released March 6, 2020. Nice. That is so awesome. What's more, We'll release a demo version on Nintendo eShop, available later today. Cool. You'll be able to carry over your save data. You know, that's a pleasant surprise. Uh, a new Mystery Dungeon so game take this opportunity is... To get a sample of the new fun. Mystery Dungeon games are awesome. I now, loved Explorers of Sky. Topic. That's a childhood game of mine. I think we'll ask Game Freak to share it with you. Okay, please show us Game Freak. Mr. Masuda, Mr. Omori, it's all yours. Masuda and Omori, the Pokeboys. What, what else do you guys have for us? Hello, everyone. I'm Masuda from Game Freak. Hello, and I'm Amori, also from Game Freak. They're like, hello, we're very pissed off that, has been finding that you were hating on our game forever. Pokemon, series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield since their release last November. Our goal is always to deliver lively new adventures that delight Pokemon trainers around the world. Yes. They have delighted me. We did our best to fill these titles with fun activities so that our players could have a fulfilling experience. It has been great so far. And the Galar region is a vast one. We suspect you've had many new discoveries and fun encounters along your adventure. Ah! Spoilers! We've been thinking about how much we'd like it if everyone's <laughs> Pokemon adventures could go on even longer, with more to dig into and new discoveries to explore. Really? Are you guys adding more to Sword and Shield? We've been working on plans for some time, in fact. Really? This is why we at Game Freak are now developing the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield what are you? Expansion Pass. Expansion, expansion passes. For the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games that will be available for purchase from Nintendo eShop. Really? DLC, eh? 
Until now, we've sometimes released new titles set in the same region as previous games, such as Pokemon Platinum version or Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. Yeah. This expansion pass will be different from those games. You'll be able to set out on new adventures using the save data you're already playing with. Nice. We're in the thick of development now, but we've prepared some footage for you so you'll be able to at least get a feeling for what new experiences await you. Awesome. Okay, what do you have? Please have a look. Please and thank you. Oh my goodness. A whole expansion pass? Okay. This all looks similar. Okay. Nothing too fishy yet. Our adventure continues. Expansion passes. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! My goodness! Is that a Galarian Slowpoke? I think he goes your Monica freaking out. Oh my goodness. Was that a new gym leader? New clothing stuff? What is going on here? Who is- Oh, who is that beautiful lady? Who is this beautiful lady or man? Oh, look at all these Pokemon that they're adding. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, Gigantamaxes of the starters. Hell yes. Wow. <gasps> oh my god. The Isle of Armor. Oh my god. What is that? I see new things. I'm still seeing new things. Who are you people? What is going on? Regis? Reggie Rock? Reggie Steel? Oh. <gasps> what is the What are those? New Reggies? And <laughs> that was like a Galarian Slowpoke that evolves into something else. Just like Surfetched or... And look, they're bringing more Pokemon from... Back from the... From the brink. Oh my god! Oh my god! Are those Galarian Legendaries? Zapdos... That looks like Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno. Oh my god! The Crown Tundra! Part 1 and Part 2! Is there more? What are you guys hitting us with right now? <gasps> Who are you? Dude, what are you? Oh my god, what are you? Both of you. Wait. They look like the legendaries. Are they the legendaries? Whoa, who are you? Woo! Sorry, I'm being loud. What did you think of this first look? Oh my god. The Sword Expansion Pass and the Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass will be composed of the Isle of Armor, planned to be released June 2020. In June. And the Crown Tundra, planned to be released in fall 2020. Damn, they're going to keep this going all if year? If you Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, you'll be able to enjoy both as they're released. Oh my god. That's amazing. Each part offers a different adventure. Did that all in eight minutes? 
able to visit unseen areas of the Galar region and meet new people and Pokemon that live there. Hey, can you guys hear, there are hear two Monica? Versions of the expansion packs. One for Pokemon Sword and one for Pokemon Shield. Different okay. Pokemon will appear in the different versions, and you'll also run into some different people and places. Nice. We're hoping players can continue with the classic Pokemon experience of trading with one another and working together. Now, without further ado, let's have the director himself present more information on the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. <sighs> Mr. Tani? That is... insane. They're adding... Look at that. Hello. I'm Tani from Game Freak. What's up, man? I'm working as the director for the Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. Dude, that looked amazing. Your directing looks very the well Isle so far. Armor and the Crown Tundra are in development as we speak. So today, we'd like to show off some designs and concept art to help introduce you to these new areas. Your adventures in Galar are getting even bigger. Yeah, they are. Let us introduce the Isle of Armor. Oh my gosh. Which focuses on the theme of growth. Growth. <laughs> Take a look. Okay. What are you going to show us here, man? The next destination in your adventure is a giant island off the shores of the Gala region known wow. as the Isle of Armor. That's a, this is amazing. This island is full of beautiful nature. You'll find beaches, bogs, forests, caves, and dunes. Nice. Of course, you'll find Pokemon that you couldn't previously find in Galar Dwelling there, too. Cool. There's a dojo for Pokemon battles on this island. And you'll take up an apprenticeship under the Pokemon trainer who runs it. This is Mustard, who will become Mustard. the mentor. He's also the mentor of Champion Leon, who you probably is he? know quite well. He's the mentor fact, of Leon? Mustard has occupied the seat of Champion himself in the past. Nice. You'll also encounter new rivals among your fellow apprentices. This is with so the cool. Sword expansion pass, oh! You'll be training with Clara, who is Clara. a poison user. When playing with the Pokemon Shield expansion pass, you will be training with Avery, who Avery. is a psychic-type user. Oh, she's going to be in my game, and I love her so much. She's own. cute. Poison-type gym leader, and then a psychic-type one. Next, we'd like to introduce the legendary Pokemon that will be central to the story. Legendary Pokemon. Oh! Kubfu. Kubfu. Fighting-type Pokemon that strives to become stronger with single-minded dedication. Oh my god, look at him. As you progress through your training, Mustard will entrust you with this Pokemon. Willy. Kubfu. He's Once a legendary Pokemon? together with Kubfu. It will be able to evolve into Urshifu. Urshifu. Urshifu is a Pokemon with two distinct styles. Two styles, there one for sword, one for style. shield. A fighting and dark type style that delivers a single strike at blinding speed. Fighting and dark. Are they going to be exclusives? Because I see the red and the blue in the style. back. A fighting and water type style that focuses on unleashing a torrent of rapid so strikes. So fighting water and fighting dark? What's more, it's been revealed that Urshifu... Has a Gigantamax form. Urshifu has a Gigantamax. Each style will have a different appearance, as well as a different G-Max move. Oh, okay. That's his Gigantamax. Urshifu, it kind of looks like styles, the starters in a way. Strike style or rapid strike style during your adventure. Okay. Urshifu is a powerful Pokemon with a brand new ability, and it also has a new move for each of its two styles. Okay. Once you've completed your training, bring it with you for some online battles or official competitions. Awesome. They're not exclusives. Well, I've seen the red and the blue. Want to talk about Rillaboom, yeah. Race, no, I. Rillaboom's my boy. You team up with in the oh, look at. During your adventure in the Isle of Armor, these oh. He has a freaking harpoon them. sniper you thingy. Look to seeing their new forms and new G-Max <laughs> Look at him. That's and cool. As you can see here, we've got even more in the works to make sure your journey is as smooth as possible. Apricots, we can make Pokemon. We can make Pokeballs. Oh, we can look like Marnie. You'll even be able to obtain new looks for your bike. Wow! Customizing we'll bikes. Holy crap! This is just too much. I'm like, I have the chills right now. Like, this is way like, oh my god! I'd like to discuss the Crown Tundra, the second area. The Crown Tundra which has a theme of exploration. I'm going to show you the information we have at the moment. The Crown Tundra. What are you? This expansion is set in the snow-swept realm of the Crown Tundra. Take a look for yourself at the beautiful scenery of this shining, silvery landscape. Man, 
As it turns out, the Isle of Armor isn't the only uncharted area waiting for you all in the gallery. This is so cool. In this frigid area, I didn't think. Towering winter I can't believe that they're giving us an entire expansion pack. And rely on each other. Much like on the Isle so of I seen there was you'll be able to a Galarian Slowpoke. Appear in the gallery region before. Are they gonna do brand new, brand new right Pokemon, or is it just gonna be Galarian like versions? Be plenty for you to uncover. You might find a strange temple where you least expect it, or maybe spy a mysterious giant tree growing in a place it doesn't seem to belong. Like this is crazy. A certain person will appoint you as the leader of their exploration team in the crowd. A hunter. certain person? No, you don't want to tell them who. You don't want to tell us who it was. And then head out to explore blizzard swept fields and even deep inside Pokemon dens. This is amazing. Previously get a glimpse of during Look how cute battles. you two are in your wintry, thick Next, wintry clothes. We'd like to introduce Calyrex, the legendary Pokemon you'll discover during your adventure. Calyrex. Legends say this Pokemon once ruled over a part of Galar Ooh. that included the Crown Tundra. It's characterized Calyrex. by its regal movements. Get Psychic grass type. Never before told story about the mysteries of Calyrex. He has Triforces on him. Crown Tundra will have a new form of co-op play as well. Really? This will allow you and friends to enter and explore Pokemon dens that exist underground in the Crown Tundra. Wow. Deep inside the dens, you may see legendary Pokemon from past games Dynamaxing before your eyes. Wow. You'll that's cool. Meet and make allies of all oh! Oh my gosh, all of them! Ooh! The that's Tundra. like all of them! Including one that is literally all of them. Through this co-op play. There's literally all of them. That's like all the legendaries. That some brand new legendary Pokemon are also waiting to be found oh, somewhere in this Oh my land. goodness. Those are like Galarian Regis and Isle of Armor, dozens of new clothing items will be added. Galarian Regis and Galarian Bird Trio. That's what it looked like. Complete your entire game, including the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. We can't go into the details of everything. Look at those. I'm planning and developing new ways to enjoy Pokemon even as we speak. The Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra areas themselves are actually speechless right now. Of the things we're working on. Thank you. Both areas are in fact seamless maps, much like the wild area you can Are there new? Are there going to be new things here? New Pokémon. Look at this. Of course, you'll be able to connect with other trainers and play with them too. This is there amazing. Will be Pokemon dens as well. And you'll be able to engage in max raid battles against Pokémon that haven't previously appeared in the Gala region. There's more to see and do on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown This Tundra, is amazing. Was even in the wild area. <laughs> Monica's freaking out out there. Future news reports, so please stay tuned. You can see more of those like Galarian slowpokes it looks like down there. What did you think? <laughs> that was crazy, man. We at Game Freak are all working hard to bring you new content. Thank you, Game Freak. So you can spend more time having fun in the gallery. Thank you so much. Everybody was talking crap on you guys so much. And excited as we are for what's the that was amazing, man. Oh my god, I have the chills. It's like... <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Tani. That's so crazy. On the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra, you'll see some familiar Pokemon that didn't appear in the gallery region before. Really? There will be more than 200 yeah. Pokemon species that appear in these areas, and you can 200. add to your team, including the legendary Pokemon mentioned before. Nice! Additionally, we'll be distributing free updates for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield that will coincide with the releases of the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. That's awesome. These updates will allow people who don't have the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion pass to obtain the Pokemon that appear on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra through other means, such as trading. Interesting. Players will also be able to bring over Pokemon to their games from the cloud service Pokemon Home as long as the Pokemon appear in the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion packs. Mm -hmm. Pokemon Home is planned to launch in February 2020. Okay. Please get Pokemon Home up and running. I want to bring all my homies with me, even though, even though I can't bring all of my homies with me. But finally, we have some more news for our Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield players. Okay, what do you have? Today, it seems like you're more likely to run into Gigantamax Colossal, Gigantamax Lapras, and Gigantamax Flapple or Gigantamax Appleton in max raid battles in the wild area. Okay. These powerful Pokemon with your friends. Okay, cool, thank you. There will also be a software update going live available later today. Alright. Once you've received the update, head to Wedgehurst Station. 
In Pokemon Sword, you'll encounter Clara. Hey! While in Pokemon Shield, you'll run into Avery. Oh, wow. You'll also encounter a Galarian Slowpoke oh. from the Isle of Armor. Look at him! Try to catch it and add it to your team. Galarian Slowpoke can evolve into Galarian Slowbro if you use an item that can be found on the Isle Monica's of Armor. is freaking out. Or into Galarian Slowking if you use an item that can be found on the Isle of Armor. Look at that! Don't forget to check it out. Yeah, I'll go. Ch I'll check it out. <laughs> oh my God! Today, we've finally been able to show you some of what we at Game Freak are hoping to achieve going forward. We hope Thank you, Game Freak. You for the Thank you so much. Waiting for you in the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Each part offers a different adventure. That was crazy. That was completely unexpected. I didn't expect that today. Like That's never experienced before. Wow. Whether you're just starting with Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, Sorry. or you've done everything there is to do, we'll do our best to develop something that everyone can enjoy. Stay tuned for more updates in the future. Thank you. My thanks to everyone from Game Freak. The Pokemon Sword Expansion Pass and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, which contains both the Isle of Armor and the so cool, Crown Tundra, man will be available for pre-purchase on Nintendo eShop later Only today. Only 30 bucks. It's not bad for pretty much a two-part DLC thing, two different Nintendo pieces of it. From the ah, look at Pokemon that. Shield menu once you install the latest update for your game. As a special purchase bonus, we've also prepared some clothing items that can be used Oh, today. that's cute. Those clothing Pokemon items. Continue to try new things in 2020 to bring fun and joy okay. to people around the world. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, is that the end of it? All right. All right, everybody. That was the end of that. Let me pause this so it doesn't restart again. Oh my god, we got a, what seems like a remake of the first two Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, if I understood that correctly. Pretty much a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game on the Switch. And two whole DLC expansion packs for Pokemon Sword and Shield. My mind is blown. It's amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know much more to say. Um, stay tuned uh, tomorrow for a discussion between me and Monica. We're going to talk about this. We're going to break it down a little bit. We're going to talk about it. Stay tuned for more, guys. I love you 3000. Have a good night.